G'day gang, Danny here, how you going? We're back here in the Lord of the Rings Online, we've arrived at Tiern Luig. I'm gonna have a chat to these two fine folk. I would speak with you, Southland. There is much water in Angmar, but most of it is foul, poisoned, and deadly to drink. Even the rare springs of pure water can sometimes turn foul when some old poison leeches from the soil. Of course. We must know which water is pure and which foul, but it is a deadly game to tell merely by taste. Instead, we collect water from various springs and feed it to swamp fly grubs. These creatures will sicken and die if they are given foul water. Banners have been placed in six of the shallow springs of the swamp, where once fresh water could be found. Take these water skins, find the banners, and collect water from the six springs, so that we may learn if the springs still run true. What about you, Othran? There are many urgent matters to discuss. Perhaps you seek more challenging prey? The giant turtles of Malinad are valued by my people both for their meat, which is edible, and for their shells. They can be deadly foes at close quarters, and if you fight them, you may damage their shells before you manage to kill them. I will pay you for both their shell plates and meat. If you think you are up to the challenge, the turtles live throughout the part. This part of the swamp. Would you lend me a moment out of your time? There are many strange beasts in this swamp. Vile creatures abound in this place. Perhaps the evil air fosters their growth. But even the vilest of vermin has its use. Swamp fly wings are light, flexible, and tough, and can be used for many crafting tasks. Swamp lurkers are creatures of a truly strange nature, but for all their odd appearance, their legs make a tasty meal when roasted. Hunt these verminous beasts and I will pay well for their trophies. You can find these creatures scattered throughout this part of the swamp. Othran? Mur... Murdegan? Murdegan? Okay. Well, we got a couple of tasks to do and uh, so we better go out there and do them. Got a ring all the way out there. Hopefully that means... Hopefully we can get the same thing done. No, nope, we're gonna have to go all the way out there. Okay. Now, I see that there's some more rings to be gotten over there. Maybe we should go further back and have a chat to those folks before we venture out. So we can just get them all done in one go. In one fell swoop. There's quite a few here, isn't there? Come here, uh. Hey, Fon. Speak with you. Gurtherk are some of Angmar's most terrible minions. Great troll-like creatures. They are cunning, skilled with arms and armor, and are not affected by the light of the sun as the other trolls are. This is a fellowship quest. Oh, well, we'll see how we go. We have observed parties of Gertharig moving back and forth from a worm-infested cave named Ologil, Olgfil, in the vile Melanad, and sent a scout, Bethad, to find out what he could of that place. But he has not returned, and I fear the worst. Please go and explore the cave. Perhaps you can find Bethad within. I fear that it would be most unwise to explore this cave alone, so you should gather. Go with the what allies you can gather. I think it's gonna be me, myself, and I. Come hither, Sothra. Oh, speak with you. hold! I would have a moment of your time. You seem to be capable of looking after yourself in this harsh land. We are the beasts of the swamp, and our most valuable and dangerous prey are the fireworms. Their hides are extremely tough, proof against both water and fire, and can be worked into armor, clothes, and all manner of useful things. If you should happen to collect any hides of the local worms, please you bring them here, and I will pay you well. But then, you are a Southron. You may not have the courage or prowess it will take. Whoa, ho! A rod, rod a can. I might, I might, I might give you a kick a can right off this cliff, my friend. The trade of the word thine have gone too far. Listen well, stranger. To make my way here, I must do some hunting with the other men of this little camp. But in truth, I am not here to live the life of a hunter. I am here for the sake of my sister, Moor. 
And if things have gone as I fear, I will take a blood price from her murderer. But I still hope that the worst has not come to pass. And if she still lives, I wish to rescue her from her captors. Many months past, she left her home in Augur to go questing with Ken. But on the way, I am told she was taken by the young Marim. From what I can tell, they were encamped at the outpost of Bell Rova. But thus far, I have been unable to learn more. Will you help me? That encampment lies to the west, on the way to Ram Duath. If the Amarim have hoped to learn anything from my sister, they would have brought her to the commander of Bear Rova. Okay. Well, we have our quests. Did another one just open up down there? Oh my goodness. Come on, guys. I gotta get out of there and do my quests. I can't spend five years talking to you guys. Yep, no one's opened up. Come hither, Shadron. Ah, uh, Mar Markan is a bold hunter. Perhaps too bold. He vowed to return with the hides of fireworms from the lairs of Salgaeti to the southeast. And he had no return in good time. Would you look for Markan, Southron? It may be as he is in need of assistance. I will reward you for your efforts. Okay. Can do. Wait a minute. Let's, let's have a little look at our map here. So we got one here. Uh, we've got a quest over there. Okay, so we'll take care of this business first. Yeah, let's just get rid of what we can. That's showing up, and then we'll turn in and go back out. Now, before I head out though, there is a campfire. So let's bind to this one so we can return easily enough. Did we do that? Yes, okay, good. So we can then just use that to return straight back here. And save ourselves a little bit of time. Folks, if you're enjoying the series, do me a favor, hit the like button. And thank you very much, everybody who does. It is very much appreciated. And, uh, and a thank you. I thank you again. Okay. Collect some- oh, well, our object is right here. And uh, that was a preview of how I pretty much play all games on this channel. Every game that I play at RPG, I do like to read the quest text. And uh, if it's not being read out as in it's not voiced, then I'll read it myself. That's how I do it. That's how I've been doing it right from the beginning. That's how I'll do it forever and always. Okay. Get some hides. Deed bestowed. So, folks often wonder, oh, when are you going to upload this episode? Or when are you going to upload the next episode of this? Not just this series, but all series. I tend to play all these games in bits and pieces. Uh, these are, a lot of the time, a lot of the time, all these MMORPGs are never-ending, or they're so large, it'll take, take many, many, many years to finish. Uh, and I'm never really trying to rush to the finish line. I'll just keep going until I eventually can't. But, um... What I tend to do... Is I'll probably upload a couple of episodes, like maybe... Sometimes it's ten, sometimes a bit more than that. And then I'll take a break. Much like a, a season in, like, a, a Netflix show or something, you know? my A couple of episodes will come out, and then uh, you have to wait for the next season. <laughs> Uh, for me, the next season happens when I, you know, I miss the game and I want to, I want to check out more of it. That's how I play. If I had decided to play on this channel, you know, games like, I don't know, Doom, Dead Space, something like that. You know, there'd be 30, 40 episodes, the thing would be done, that'd be the end of that. Obviously, you can see that this series is already up to 200 and something. And I don't anticipate it ending until, like, episode 500, <laughs> you know? The way we're going. So they'll come out as they come out. And folks ask me, and I just, I really don't have an answer for you. It'll just come out when it comes out. I do appreciate the enthusiasm and interest, though. 
Uh, but that's just the way I do it. This isn't a Lord of the Rings online channel. This is, for the most part, it's me playing MMORPGs. Sometimes I play other things. If you want to see completely other... I mean, I also play MMORPGs on Twitch, but I like to play other things as well. And I do that more on the, the Twitch streams than I do on this channel. On this channel, you mostly find MMORPG. Okay. I think at the time that I started this channel, I didn't really see too many, too many channels out there um, actually playing through, you know, the storylines. And it was always the area that I, I kind of found interesting. That's pretty much why I started the channel. These days, there's a lot more now. Um, but that's, that's how I began. And I really, honestly, that's how I continue. I think I'll continue going. At least on this channel anyway. I think it's cool that some people actually just put the my videos on and they, you know, they'll play their games in the background. They just like they just like hearing the voice, you know. <laughs> while they're doing whatever they're doing. Or sometimes people play along as well. They'll follow the path that I go on. Which is quite cool. But you know, however you enjoy it, is up to you. Now, what else have we got? Still got some more worm hides. Uh, maybe we'll make our way. I oh, know, we'll make our. Let's make our way over to this. Oh no, that's worm hide. Hang on. Let's make our way to Blood Price. Can see another worm over there. <laughs> do 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 do. Yeah, I mean, I, it's quite a variety here. I, like I said, it's not a Lord of the Rings Online channel. I play things like World of Warcraft, I play things like Elder Scrolls Online, you know, Star Wars The Old Republic. I try to fit in a bit of Final Fantasy here and there, so... But there have been plenty others. Some which I'll try and I'll have a look and see how the community reacts, you know. If it's favourable, I may continue it. Sometimes it's just me, I just don't like the game. After several episodes, like, you know what, it's not really for me. We've also got this starting experience video, uh, line of videos, which I'm actually going to change the name of. I think starting experience probably suggests that I would play, you know, give you an idea of what the entire, how to start a game and, and continue on to dungeons and all this sort of stuff. When really all I wanted to do was check out maybe the first hour or so of these other games, which I don't really get time to do a full series on. But it's also a way of me to gauge interest to see if it's something that you'd like to see more of. So I'll probably be renaming those to the first hour, first hour series or something like that. <laughs> this, that's just a little insight in case you just have any brand new here, stumbled in at episode 2065. <laughs> It's like, oh, Dan's telling me everything about the chat. Okay, cool. I think we might be able to take these clowns on. So when you look for man, confront the bell of our camp commander. It's Crown Bowman over there. Do you reckon he's in there? 
Oh, no, actually, he's over here. Oh, okay. He's right there. He's right there with a big old Ringo on his head. All right, let's clear this area out first. Now, I also can see that as a welcome back weekend, 25% experience gain. Monster kills, crafting. Uh, what else we got? Quest completion, legendary item, and mounted combat. Mounted combat XP? What? You will perish. What? When? You ask for her. Ha! You not find her here, Southron. She moved on long ago. Seek you the Silk Lady if you know... If you would know more. But I think the Silk Lady will not be troubled with your presence, Outlander. Not if I kill you here. And now... And redeem the incompetence of my men. Oh, come on, tough guy. Let's see what you got. Nothing. You got nothing. Absolutely nothing, pal. Do, 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 do. So. Talk to Lorne. Alright, so that's done. We'll go back. We need to get one more worm hide. That is absolutely everything we need to do from there, right? Alright, let's go get the other worm hide. And then we might actually just go back and then hand in the quest that we've done. Clear up the quest log a little bit and then head back out. Alright. Do 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 do. Worm hunter. Find the hunter. Oh, we gotta find that guy still. Um, which looks like he's over there. Let's take a ride. Let's go and find that dude. And then we'll go back. Let's have a look at this. What do we got here? Clouded worm eyes. Ah, implements of the hunt. Collect venomous dread total weeks. Putrid fingernails. Great goose. <laughs> Anybody need any great goo? I got a lot of it. Um, I don't see any of the other stuff there, I'm sure. Maybe it's in there. Oh, there's the uh, beaks. Okay. Oh, what happened? Oh, did it update? I didn't see it update. Oh, because, I mean, the ring was down in there somewhere. It's interesting. Yeah, it looked like it updated. Oh, unless it's because of this quest. Hang on a second. Maybe it's because that quest came in. The play. Let's have a look here. Uh, Angmar. Yeah. I removed that from my list. That's why. Okay. So... Let's get rid of a uh, half shell because we completed that already. Let's get that one back on. Okay. Yeah, I was thought that was a bit strange because I mean I didn't see anything pop up. Where's the putrid fingernails? Guess we haven't picked up any yet. We do need more worm eyes though, so I probably should take out more of these things. Oh jeez!
interesting that it would place some of the items that we need for a quest in there. And I'll just place it straight into our inventory. Because I've got to be honest, I always forget to look into the <laughs> this thing. Do do. I mean, there's a lot. There's a line in Lord of the Rings Online that I don't know much about. Um, I've spent a lot of time just focusing on questing and the storyline itself, and not so much about the little intricacies about it. I would speak with you, Sothran. Worm Hunter's bow. Okay. Curse my foolish pride! I should never have ventured into this worm lair on my own. There are just too many of them. And now that I have found this safe place, I do not dare try to sneak away on my own. Can you help me escape? I would ask that you not tell the other hunters, for I would be ridiculed for the rest of my life. Let us be gone from this hellish place. That's right, buddy. I will escort you. Hopefully we don't have to escort you the entire way. We did clear up a lot of it on the way in, which is good. A moment, please. I'm sorry to trouble you. Oh, come on, mate. We're trying to get out of here, fella. Is this the point where they spawn in? No. Curse these wounds. The beast can smell blood and come for me. I think I killed them all, matey. Oh, here we go. I lied. Devastated. Yeah, I mean, a lot of the times in RPGs, I, I do focus more on this this storyline so i miss out on things like raids and some of the bigger dungeons and so on that type of experience i would love to take part but i just don't have time you know there's there's only so many i can play but at the same rate i want to i want to kind of experience the game a little bit you know One day, one day. Hopefully I'll get to, uh... Do a couple live streams. My thanks to you, I should be safe now. Please let me return to the camp on my own. I don't want the others to know I needed help. No worries, you do what you gotta do. Okay, so we've got all that sorted out. Couple more eyes, good. Still need a lot more, but there's a lot of them around here. Let's return to the camp by using return to camp. We'll hand in all these and then we'll see what's next. Aha, and we return. Craft does not come easily among the trade glory. Ah, market is safe then, is he? Well, good. He is an impulsive and proud man. And I had feared that he might have gotten in over his own head. Not that such a thing could ever happen. Nor would he pride or permit him to be rescued if it did. I suspect that I and Makan know you greater things than your tale suggests. And so I do thank you most sincerely. Rest does not come easily among the trade galore. Good shells. Meat is a spoiled yet. I will pay for this. Would you lend me a moment of your time? So, Southron, you hang on a second, mate. Let me hand the other quest in. The hills of Angmar are not friendly to the Ah, people. good court. A Malinad we must make use of any beast we find. Uh I'll take that then. Did I just take some milk? I think I just took some milk. Head on up top and handing the rest of them. All right. You call me a perilous time. So. She was not there after all. Oh, my patience wasted. That I should offer my thanks. I might have waited here much longer and still learned nothing. The Silk Lady? That is a name I have heard of. Recently it has become a name of dread in these hills. Whispered tales speak of a cruel and vicious woman in Angmar who commands deadly spiders. 
It is said she is a dangerous to fellow Angmarim as she is to the enemies of the Iron Crown. We will not be slaves to Karn Doom. Rora Khan sojourning here. Aha! This is good. We're both prophet. Here are your coins. I would speak with you, Southland. 